Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my Wolves career mode. Today, we should be finishing off the beginning part of the season. We should be entering the January transfer window very soon. Let's go ahead and look at the calendar. So we've got our first game, which is Stoke in the uh, the Carabao Cup quarterfinals. Then we have Swansea, Newcastle City, Watford at the other end there, and West Brom. So I'm hoping to get those games done today because as soon as we hit the January transfer window, of course, it gets really exciting. It's going to be a few players leaving and maybe one or two players joining. We'll soon find out. But what I've also done before this next game is I have created my my other other first team. We've got two now. This is the 5-2-3 that I've used pretty much since the beginning of the series. But this is a more recent formation that I've been using. And it seems to be working really well because I can get Bernard in the team as well as Jota, um, Andre Silva, Costa... It means I do drop a defender, which is unfortunately Eorfa, but uh, Lato and Dika, De Vrij and Dalot as a back five, uh, back four, sorry, is still really strong. So we're going to go ahead and give this formation a go today. I'm going to try and play all the games with this formation and just see how it goes really. So let's get into the next game in the Carabao Cup and hopefully get through to the semi-finals. Need to be careful here. The cross comes in. Oh, wow. First attack of the game and I've conceded Juf. Got to be so careful of him. Shakiri's on the right as well. So, oh my God, that celebration is so annoying. It's a brilliant cross. And if it wasn't going to be Juve, it would have probably fell for Shakiri at the back post. He's always in a dangerous area. I mean, maybe I would have had it covered. But regardless, he's won the header. We're 1-0 down. Not a good start. Oh, hello. We're in here. Oh, wow. Big save from Butland. Go on, put it through. Pass oh, a lovely ball. That is perfect. Andre Silva, can you finish it though? Yes, he can. What? How? <laughs> How are you missing that? I was sure that went in. I mean, it's, it's very close, but it, it's not close enough. I've got to be scoring that. Oh, we're in again, though. Go on, Bernard. Chip him. Oh, go on. Oh, it's off the bar. Why am I trying that? I'm 1-0 down in a quarterfinal, and I'm trying to chip the keeper. I'm just an idiot. Final attack of the first half. It's a corner for Stoke, which hasn't gone very well for them. And I think that's going to be it. I'm not going to have time to get on the break, am I? This isn't really going to plan. I've had so many chances, but just can't seem to score right now. Very frustrating. They just brought on Bojan. So they're going for a second goal whilst I've got a corner. Bernard's going to whip this one in. It's decent. Come out to Jota. Oh, Butland with a big save. We're getting closer. Only 10 minutes to go. This game is quickly disappearing. I should probably make a change soon. I've got a few tired players, but whilst I've got the ball, I don't really want to be pulling it out. Let's see if we can get this going now. Okay, put it over to the right side for Costa. Inside for Bernard. To Andre Silva. Back inside for Bernard. What a, go what a goal this would have been. No way. It's just not happening today. And there it is. It's all over. We're out. The Carabao Cup is not going to be a trophy that we get our hands on this season, unfortunately. But what can I do? Those those types of games just happen. You've got to take it on the chin. We'll get into the next one now. Focus on the Premier League. We need a top six, top eight finish. And as you know, we've been sliding down. So up next, we have Swansea. Let's see where they are at the moment. They are down in 14th place. Bournemouth are still top of the league. And... They're not only top of the league, they're top by five points, which is pretty crazy after just 14 games. Um, Spurs can close that gap a little bit if they get their win. I'm guessing they're playing against Palace or Everton, maybe Leeds. But at the moment, Ipswich and Leeds are in the bottom with Southampton. So we are the only promoted side to be in, well, outside of the relegation zone, which is uh, pretty good. But let's get into the game against Swansea now. I've gone with the same formation, same players. Can I create enough chances in this game to win? I think I will be able to. Is Costa now. Try and turn. Okay, now get the ball in. Oh, why are you sliding in? I hate that so much. My God, the passing. Unreal from Swansea. They're playing some great stuff right now. Once again, I'm just not clicking. I don't know what it is. Maybe this time. It's a good tackle, but I should be able to keep that. Put that one through for Bernard. Okay, this is more like it. Oh my god, that touch. That touch was so bad, it's just set me back a few seconds. Should be still able to get through here. Okay, we're in. Try and get into the box now. Why would I want to pass to their goalkeeper? You stupid game. This time maybe. Still going here. Can you finish it though? No, he can't. <laughs> Look at Bernard flying in there. He likes doing that, doesn't he? He's done that a few times. Well, there's the half-time whistle. 
Again, another pretty boring first half of football. I just, I'm having the chances and I'm not scoring them. I'm sure you're bored of hearing that. I have to step it up in the second half. I've made two changes at the break. Moosis, who's on the ball right now, and Brereton. I thought, Do you know what? I'm going to go for it and make two changes to freshen up the squad a little bit. Give that to Brereton. Turn. That's a foul, surely. How? How is that not a foul? He hasn't even touched the ball. Maybe this time we can get inside. That's a foul as well. No, okay, play on. This is it. This is the moment. This is it. Come on, Brereton. Oh, he's just taking too much time there. He's won it back, though. Well played. Over here to Costa. Try and fake shot. Get into the box now. Straight to the keeper. My God, Matt. So frustrating, isn't it? I can only, I can only imagine how painful it is watching it. Last chance. This is it. I have to make this count. Costa, make a run. Don't just stand there. Go. Thank you. That's a really good ball as well. Bernard's in the box. Go on, Bernard. Oh, he's done it. Oh, wow. We've won it in the last seconds of the game. Bernard with his left foot in off the post as well. Cheesy, sweaty goal. I didn't think the, the pass was going to make it. Look at that. Three Swansea defenders trying to intercept a pass. Brilliant assist. Really, really nice work goal. Nicely worked goal, I should say. And that should be all three points. Oh, what a relief. This has been an absolutely horrendous game. Really, really poor from, uh, well, I don't even set high standards. I was going to say poor from my standards, but I've been playing badly for a while now. But three points, that's all that matters. And now we get into the next game. Into the next one, Newcastle away from home. This could be a, a challenging fixture. It's been so long since I last played against Newcastle in a career mode, I feel like. Maybe I'm missing out on one that happened recently, but at least not at St. James's Park. It's been a long time since I played a game here, but uh, after that win against Swansea, the pressure's off a little bit. I'm back into the top seven, I think, now. So, you know, I could afford to drop points, but of course, you don't want to be dropping points. You want to be winning games, and that's exactly what I plan to do in this game. Oh, God. Could have been off to a very poor start there. That's really good play. Very nice. Come on, then. What can we do from here? I'm going to go on a little run if I can. Jota's still going here. Still going. Still going. That's going to be a foul if they touch it. Can I have the foul? No, nope, we're just going to play on. Oh, the referees in this game actually do my head in. That's a lovely ball. That is so nice from Ayub on his weaker foot as well. Inside with Jota. Penalty. <laughs> okay, clearly he got the ball. I didn't see it, but uh, okay. Let's just get in the second half. For, for whatever reason, I cannot seem to do anything in any first half at the moment. The second half is always better. Oh, what a tackle. That was brilliant. Go on. He's still got it. Go on, hit it. Oh, saved. But the rebound's going to go in. Costa does score, finally. It wasn't even a very good chance. And, of course, that's the one that goes in. The one where I look least likely to score. Very lucky there with, uh, with Andre Silva. The shot was pretty pathetic, but the keeper... He's done so well in this game. Probably should have done better with that. And Costa is just in the right place at the right time. 1-0. No way. No way. Oh, Jesus, Matt. My defence just weren't there. But it's my bad. I got caught going forward just a second ago. They hit me on the break. And it's such a simple goal. It really is so simple. I've lost the ball there pretty much. Should have maybe got there with the interception. And the finish is easy. The keeper gets a touch. But not enough. And now we're back to square one with 18 minutes left. Brilliant. Lovely Bernard. Go on, keep going. Put it on through. Yes, go on. Neves. Makes it. Oh, no, he doesn't. He hits the bar. Come on. Another chance. Oh, to Costa. Nope. Okay, I need to get through this, this defence here. Yes, nicely done. Crossing it in. What is that cross? And again, to the edge of the box. Inside. Go on, Ayub. Good first touch. Put it through. Still got it. Cross it. Go on, Jota. Off the post. <laughs> this game. It hates me today. It really hates me today. Don't tell me they're going to score now. No, this isn't happening. No. No. Ooh. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, so one attacker hit the bar, the post. And then they just go down and pass it through me like Barcelona. Oh man, I suck. This has just been so bad. 
I can't believe it. It's such poor defending on my end. It is my fault. There's no one else to blame but myself. I've got three minutes to try and equalise after winning the game. I've been winning the game for a little while, you know. He's going to blow the whistle before I can even get on the attack, isn't he? Yeah. Oh, that's, that's a little bit frustrating. So that means we are going to be back outside the top eight, I would believe. But in reality, it's, it's not that bad. You're going to lose games. It's just, uh, it's just tough. It's tough to take. I should have won this game. Good bit of training, though. Cavalero is now 78 rated. Brereton almost 76. Dalit did okay in one and terrible in the other. He got an F in his defending, but an A in his dribbling, which is pretty good to see. Um, actually, the result wasn't as bad as I thought. It does mean, though, Arsenal can leapfrog us into sixth. So we will be seventh if they win or get a draw. Bournemouth still top of the league. I'm looking forward to seeing them drop down because there's no way they're going to be winning the Premier League come the end of the season. But coming up next, who have we got? I've completely forgot who we've got next. Oh, I forgot about that as well. We've got players that are coming down on their contracts and it's Man City. It just doesn't get any easier, does it? Let's see who those players are. So it's Douglas, Ikeme, Mason and Eorfa. So we, we definitely need to sort these guys out. The author is currently on 19,000, so let's offer him... Well, it's probably going to have to be at least 30, isn't it? I'll go with 28 to 60 or so. Yeah, he wanted 36 and a half, four years, rotation as a squad role. That's absolutely fine by me. Uh, Mason's leaving the club, so is Gladden and Ennis. Douglas, we definitely want to keep hold of him. He's on 39,000. Wow. All right, I'm going to go in with 40 to... I don't know. How much are these guys worth? 70, maybe? He wanted 47. Okay, that's fine. We've got uh, Enabakare as well. He's on 8,000. Like, how much do I need to offer him to keep him here? It's probably going to be at least 15, isn't it? I guess I'll just go in with what I'm comfortable uh, paying. So we'll go 15 to 33. Damn it. It's too low. Okay, we're going to have to try him again. Ronan, I'm not too bothered about. Um, I guess I should probably offer it just so I could sell him at some point in, in case... I don't really want him leaving for free in case I, I can make a bit of money off him. So he's on 6,700. Again, we'll try 14 to 35, something like that. He wants 22k. That's a lot of money for a player that you're not really using. So we'll come back and try Enabakare again in a week. I don't know what to do about Ikeme because I'm not, I'm not going to play him. I'm probably, obviously I'm not going to sell him. He's a legend at this football club, but I, maybe I'm just better off letting him, him go because the, the wage is 20,000. That can be put towards a better player. And it sounds harsh, but football is business at the end of the day. We need as much money as we can to continue our push to European glory. Well, it's not ideally the fixture you want when you're struggling so much, is it? You don't really want to be going to the Etihad to play against uh, Pep's Man City with De Bruyne, Aguero, Sterling, all of these incredible players. But let's take a look at their lineup. They might be doing what Chelsea did, Manchester United did. Maybe they're going to be playing a weaker squad today. Let's find out. To be fair, it looks like they've got a bit of a, a mix. They've got a few of their star players, but also a few of their academy slash youth players. So they've gone with Edison in goal. Fair enough. Walker, Humphreys, Grant, Facey, Mendy. So again, a mix there. De Bruyne, Denier and Silva. It's a very strong midfield. Sterling, Umnecha. And Chilina. Okay, so it, it could be could be worse. They've got a lot of their good players on the bench, which I'm sure we'll be seeing in the second half. Look forward to that. But let's just focus on this performance because if, if I if I don't win this one, I just <laughs> maybe I should stop playing today. I see Bernard making a run. He stopped his run. He got in the way of the pass. This is this is just what's happening to me today, guys. I can't do anything, can I? Jota's open though. Oh, what a ball. Neves, that is it. Surely we're going to score this one. Oh, wow, Facey, good defending. In fairness, though, guys, we've made a brilliant start to this game. We're doing very well. Look at this brilliant passing as well. Give it back to Bernard. Hit it. Oh, he's put it wide. Good first touch. Go on. Yes, Andre Silva, you monster. He hasn't scored many recently, but every goal he scores is really good. His finishing is always on point. Well, I say it's always on point. When he scores, it's always, you know, right in the top corner or right in the uh, in the opposite side. I mean, look at that. You're just not saving that, are you? Brilliant finish from Andre Silva. And we are 1-0 up against a very strong City... Well, actually, it's not the strongest side they could put out, but they're still top four in the Premier League right now. So I'm pretty happy with this. Into the second half now. On the break. Here's Bernard. Good first touch. 
inside for IU. Oh, he's almost got there. David Silva did well, though. This second half has started very quickly. I'm a little bit concerned that if I go go for it, I'm going to leave gaps. And that's where City will, will get back in this game. They're taking off Cellina and they've brought on Leroy Sane. Oh, dear. It's going to get harder. Lovely play. Go on, Bernard. That's a foul. On what planet is that not a foul? He's quite literally blocked Bernard from getting to the ball there. Without touching the ball, he's fouled him. It's a penalty. It's just a broken system. And now they're going to score, aren't they? I've got no chance catching up with Sane. Oh, he's turned right into me, but he's got it back. Slide in. Oh, my. No. How have I got away with that? Okay, we're even now. <laughs> we're even. Oh, great. He's offside. He's offside. No, he's not. He's onside. And there it is. The difference Sane has made. I'm actually scared when they're running at me either wing now. It was Sterling before. Wasn't so worried about on the left side with Cellina, but as soon as you bring Sane on, I panic. And it's such an easy goal. It's so easy. Again, story of today. Conceding easy goals. Oh, go on, back in. Yes. Perfect. Come on, Silva. Across the goalkeeper. Oh, he's, he's done it. Yes. That's what I needed. Okay, now we just defend. I'm not even going to watch this replay. I'm getting back in this game. We are going on ultra defensive. And you know what? In case the ball goes out, I need to bring in someone else. I'm going to take out Bernard. I'm going to put in Musis and bring him down as a CDM. <laughs> I'm not going to be playing a 4-3-3 attacking formation when I'm holding a lead at the Etihad. So let's just grind down these last few minutes. And hopefully that final whistle will go and we will be still winning this game. We've picked up an injury somehow. I think he's okay though. No, don't do this to me. I think I've got away with it. Yes, come on, we've done it. Oh, wow. Okay, so this, this episode started off somewhat okay. It wasn't the greatest going out to Stoke, but it was a, it was a decent performance. It went straight downhill and now we're, we're back up, guys. The win against Swansea was great. Newcastle wasn't, but this game against City was just brilliant for us. Really, really pleased with that. Let's have a look at the stats. So the possession was very even. The shots were... I mean, it's pretty even, isn't it? I haven't played such an even game for such a long time. My manager rating has gone up to 88, and we're back into the top four. That's crazy. That result was absolutely huge for us. It means Man City have dropped down to seventh. Wow. Now, Bournemouth... They are three points clear with a game in hand, but Spurs, they also do have a game. So, yeah, they're still going to be winning the league. That's, that's mental to me, the fact that Bournemouth are still winning it. We'll finish up with some training. We're not going to get all these games done today, um, but that's fine. We'll get into the next episode, do those two matches before the window. Brereton up to 76, very nice indeed. And then at the end of that episode, I will tell you guys what you think I should do in that window. Certain players that I'm going to find, I will shortlist so you guys can take a look. But for now... That is the end of this episode. That is unbelievable. We're in the top four right now. I cannot believe it. So we've played 16 games. We're almost halfway. Seven wins, five draws, four losses. A goal difference of eight, by the way. Not too shabby. Thank you for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. Make sure you leave a like. Make sure you subscribe, and I will see you next time.